Mark chapter 14, verse 53. Judas has come. He's given Jesus the Judas kiss. Jesus has been taken by the mob. The disciples are gone. And they led Jesus away to the high priest. Remember, this is the middle of the night. This is not in the morning. They had to bring torches and lanterns. In the middle of the night, they bring Jesus to the high priest. And with him were assembled the chief priests, plural, and the elders and the scribes, the Sanhedrin. And what you're going to see is a kangaroo court completely illegal according to the law of Moses. Peter followed him afar off. Oh, I'll never leave you, Jesus. Where is he? He's afar off. Even unto the palace of the high priest. Look at it, he's got a palace. And he sat with the servants and warmed himself at the fire. It was a little chilly. In the servants' area. He doesn't dare walk in where Jesus is. I'll never leave you, Lord. I'm to death. Christians get up, I'll never leave there for safety. And then they're gone. You better be careful on the hymns that your spiritual music leader has you sing in church. Because you know what? Count your many blessings, have you? So for this week, I count my blessings on Facebook. I, I wake up every day. I try to put a blessing that the Lord's blessed me with. Sweet hour of prayer. You never even pray five minutes. I love to tell the story. And they don't tell nobody. Peter said, I will never leave thee, Lord. I will not forsake you. And he's following afar off. Now he got the other disciple. Yeah, all right, we're with Peter. And the chief priests and all the council, that's the Sanhedrin, saw, saw, God went. For witnesses against Jesus to put him to death. So they went out looking for witnesses. And that's pretty much basic trial. The defense and the prosecutor will go out and look for people who have seen. This is the middle of the night. Against Jesus to put him to death. The Sanhedrin is looking for one set of witnesses. They're prosecutors. We want witnesses that will say Jesus is guilty. Where is Jesus' defense counsel? And realize Jesus never said, oh, I don't have a lawyer. I don't want to be evil. I don't because they're God's people. But I mean, you're amongst Jews, <laughs> lawyers and doctors. And Jesus doesn't. Jesus agrees with the flow. And they found none. For many Bear false witness against him. Look at that. Now let me tell you something. If you are a born again Bible believing Christian. And the world is your friend. 
you are doing something wrong. If your community loves your church, you're doing something wrong. I've had people like this in public ministry that, you know, they call 911. They try to get me arrested. They're trying to get me to shut up. They're trying to get me to leave. I had the, the, the director of Daytona Beach, you know, we'll give you any kind of ministry, anything else, try to give me the rules. And it sounded good until I put my head back on. Oh, he did this, he did that, he said this, he said that. And I got videotape. You want to play it? I got one time, the person over there, oh, you know, he, he's making fun of the farmer's market. He's saying things about our farmer's market. And the cop's like, he can. <laughs> he has that right. And if, 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 he's, if, he's, if he's telling false tales, if he's lying, if he's deframing, then, then, then you can get a lawyer. But I wasn't deframing. I wasn't telling lies. If you are a true Bible believer, Paul said to, to Christians, have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? I had a church tell me to leave because I told them their decorations was just crazy for their VBS. Everything in the church was decorated. Oh, I think you don't come back. I'll be back next. No, 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 don't come back. And then two weeks later, I get a thing in the mail. All these extra charges. <laughs> but you never told me. I'm not going to say they're so. But, you know, you could pull me. I sat, you know how many times I stood in your office alone, you and I? I had a church get upset with me because I I sent the congregation information about the King James Bible. I got a church yelled at me because I told them, I told the Sunday school teacher, you're wrong. I got another church mad at me because I told them your music is ridiculous. Churches hated me. Christians hated me. And I've done nothing wrong. I spoke the truth. You know what Jesus did for 33 and a half years? From, from the time he could say his first word until the hair? He spoke the truth. And I think the Bible says something about the, the truth shall set you free except among the religions. The chief priests, the Sanhedrin, the council, the scribes, the, the, the Pharisees, the Sadducees. These are the religious. Religion. At its best. And they're God's people. God's called out people. The, the Jews, the Hebrews. And they're dead wrong. The churches today, the Baptist church today, they're following that, that light of the scene. We're the great, we're one of our great church who bomb. Yeah? Has any of your street preachers had somebody come up and pull a gun on, on you and it blew up in their face? Billy Sunday? Have you shut down movie theaters? And they rechanged that movie theater to be a church, Dwight L. Moody. Have you gone into workplaces and say, listen, at lunchtime, while they're having their, their peanut butter jelly sandwich, whatever it is, can I preach to the people at lunchtime? And give them permission? Or can we have crayons and coloring books and shoelaces and face painting and, and monkey things and jump through hoops and Tootsie Rolls and banners? 
for many bear false witness against him. The saying that healed the leprosy, cleansed the sick, rose the dead, gave sight to the blind, gave hearing to the ears of the deaf, unmaimed those who could not walk or touch, Many went into that courtroom or wherever you want to call it and said, Jesus this, and it was wrong. Jesus that, and it was wrong. I was, I was six years in prison ministry. One of my messages I had, and I got the people all riled up. You know, they, they spoke wrong at me. The person said I was wrong. The person said this. Their witness said that. I said, you Christians? And I brought this message. I said, I will give you a hundred dollar bill if you find Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John where Jesus screamed and hollered, unfair justice. It's a Jewish thing. I've got rights. Jesus is standing there, God, God is standing there, and all his creation, many of them are stepping up, this, that, this, this, that, liars. But their witness, their witness, agreed not to get. They couldn't find two or three people that agreed. Two or three is the law. How you doing, Christian? Now, let's say if we're saying not false witnesses. If the time came, if they were to persecute Christians, would they find enough evidence to condemn you? Could they open your Bible and get your DNA from Obadiah, Amos, Habakkuk? Could they? And there arose certain and bear false witness, liars, against him. That's perjury. That's, it, that is a crime in America, perjury. Under the Mosaic law, let's say somebody owed a hundred sheep. You come in and tell a lie. Perjure yourself. The law states you, the, the false witness, you owe a hundred sheep. If that man were to go to jail and you and you perjured yourself, you go to jail. That's the Mosaic law. Verse 58. We, we heard him say, I will destroy this temple. Uh-oh. They're touching a sacred thing, the temple. I was in a church. Everyone sign your name to this church steeple. No church is not a church unless it has a steeple. They hand me the magic marker. I went in there and wrote pagan. I couldn't spell phallic symbol. If I could, I would have wrote that. Best thing I could do was pagan. Oh, we got manicured green lawn. 
We've killed every bug. But no one gets the gospel in our neighborhood. How great our building is. That's what it is right now. They figure if we say the temple, ooh, ah. Oh. The ultimate sin for them. That's a Baptist sin. Don't you dare say anything against their temple. Some Baptist churches are called temple. That's not right. Destroy this temple that is made with hands. Within three days, I will build another made without hands. All right, so let's go to, to the Gospel of John. Let's see what Jesus said. Gospel of John, chapter 2, verse 19. Let's see what Jesus said. Okay. 2.19. Jesus answered, said to him, destroy this temple. In three days I will raise it up. They said, I will destroy this temple and made with hands. And within three days, I'll build another made without him. They said, he said, destroy this temple. They said, he was going to destroy it. You see? Then said the Jews, 46 years was this temple in building. Well, that will rear it up in three days. You see our building? 46 years. You're not going to do it in three days. How great our building is, a glory to man. But he spake of the temple of his body. He didn't speak of that, that, that stone wood temple. Matter of fact, he's gonna he he had already said. The Titus is going to come in 70 AD. He's going to destroy it. Not one stone will be left upon another. Jesus wouldn't destroy the temple. Titus would. These men here are going to destroy the temple of God, Jesus Christ, back to Mark. You see how they took out of context and how they lied. That's not what Jesus said. And the contents wasn't the, the building. It was his body. And the three days was the resurrection. You know, there are some people that treat their church building as if it were God. I was in a church one day and they, they, they just built this church. And Somebody threw gum, or somebody threw gum a lot around the church property. And I walk into the church, I accidentally stepped in this chew gum, which I never chew gum. And the pastor's wife is following me around and rebukes me because I have gum in the bottom of my shoe, and I, and I got it on their floor. But the daughter who who done it, who chewed the chew, the gum and threw it, ooh, you know, a click. Okay, so see, you know, don't touch the rugs, don't change nothing. There there have been church splits over the color of the carpet or the pew. There have been families that left that church because they want somebody else to play the piano too. So, I will destroy this temple. No. Let's reverse it. You're going to destroy this temple. The body of Christ. That is made with hands. No, Jesus Christ's body was not made with hands. It was made by God. 
Now, maybe these AIs, these artificial humans, maybe they're made by hands, but not Jesus. Within three days, the resurrection, I will build another made without hands. Now, his body's going to be resurrected. That's a lie. Out of context. But neither... So did their witnesses agree together. So evidently, even then, they couldn't agree. And the high priest stood up in the midst, the religious guy, and asked Jesus, saying, Answers thou nothing? Why? He can keep his peace. There's nothing for him to answer because they're the liars. And somebody's lying against you. There's the best thing to do. Shut up. My biggest thing, you know, is there a problem, officer? Well, we heard that. No, I got the videotape thing over here. You, you want you? you, you I get it done. You want me to send you an email? <laughs> Or I can give you my website. It'll be on my website within two day, two or three days, Lord willing. Well, they said, you said, yeah, I'd probably take it out of context. I had one guy raving, raving oh, no, he hates the Jews and all stuff like that. Like, <laughs> what is it? Which these witnesses against thee. They're liars. <laughs> and Jesus would have been perfectly right if he said that. But. Now uh, this is the problem of your Americans today. He held his peace. Oh we got rights. Black lives matter. It's ethnic. I'm ashamed. I'm offended. I got rights. My body. I need a lawyer. Police brutality. He's standing in front of the Sanhedrin, the priests, all these false witnesses. He is questioned by the chief priest. And he didn't answer. There is no answer to give. Again, the high priest asked and said unto him, Art thou the Christ? Son of the blessed. Now you see that question? Now, before we move on, what is the answer to that question? Yes, he is. Okay? 62. And Jesus answered. Now, there's nothing more he had to say, but I am. That's what, that's what Jehovah said to Moses. Again, in the Gospel of John. He says, I am. And they started picking up stones. Just the I am would infuriate them. Because him saying, I am, I'm Jehovah. I'm the anointed one. I am the son of the blessed. I am the blessed. Jehovah Witnesses don't believe that. You shall see the son of man sitting on the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of heaven. That's the second advent. That ain't the rapture. Don't you get that messed up with the rapture. I know, people, you know, they, they, they say the second advent like it's the rapture, and it's not the rapture. The rapture is not the second advent, and the second advent ain't the rapture. This is where Jesus is on the horse the white horse, he's coming back with anger.
And you're going to see him there. You're on the wrong side. Then the high priest rents his clothes. That was supposed to be a symbol of being broken. That was a symbol to say, I'm in mourning. He does it in anger. Says, what need we any further witnesses? <laughs> we can use some more of your oddball liars. But Jesus has a date and time. They could have played this all day and all, but not according to the time of God. He had heard the blasphemy. Now, verse 62 ain't the blasphemy. Verse 58 was the blasphemy. What think ye? It's not what you think. That's the problem with, you know, what do you think? What do you think? That's the problem with radio. What do you think? How do you? They ain't care what you think. You know? You can think that this is an orange. It's a pen. I don't care what you think. There are people walking around today. They're males. Well, I'm a female. No, you're not. Well, you know, I had things cut off. You're still chemically a man. As if a female wants to says she's a man. You're still chemically a female. I don't care what you think. I think either our race is not. Isn't it? Take your race back to where you came from and try that where you where you come from. You won't get away with it. Try some of this stuff that's going on in America. Try this over in Asia. You gotta learn our language. You gotta press one for us. You know, <laughs> yeah, right. What think ye? And they all condemned him to the guilty of death. Really? What proof? Two or three witnesses, remember the law? Okay, he says he's he's the right hand of the power, he's the son of the blessed, he's the Christ. He is. Go call the 12 men that followed him for three and a half years. Go call Lazarus, Mary, and Martha. How come they weren't called? Where's Nicodemus? Did you notice that? Nicodemus is there when we get to John. So he's been condemned to death. And some, some, begin, look, look at the words, many and some, began to spin on him. Now, I've never had that happen to me. That must be humility. And to cover his face with, with a blanket, a towel, or bag. And buffet him. Now, when you look up the 1828 dictionary of Webster's Dictionary, buffet means to box. To outright smoke. To punch. You would find this in a boxing You know, what the, you know what the Baptist church? They buffet all kinds of food on the table. They beat the daylights out of Christ. And he's not even in the hands of the Romans yet. 
He's still in front of the Jewish Sanhedrin, and he's already bleeding. When they hand him over to Pilate, if you ever watch a boxing match, you ever see how their face is bruised, how their body is bruised, there is Jesus. And Pilate doesn't ask, what did you guys do? And said unto him, prophesy. When the end of the world? No. What about the book of Revelation? No. And the servants did strike him with the palms of their hand. Hey, there's a Palm Sunday for you. How come this is not preaching your churches? You know what they want him to do? Damn! All right, Jesus, tell, tell him who did that. <laughs> My turn. Who was that, Jesus? Who did that? <laughs> hey, Jesus, who did that? You wait to the great white stone judgment. You remember you, sir? Yeah. You punched me in the ear. Hmm? It was you that spit on me the third time. It's you that hit me in the jaw. The Bible says in Proverbs, ha, 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 God will get the last laugh. You better put your sins under the blood of Jesus Christ. We're not done. Matthew. Matthew 26. We're going to study. We're going to study the Bible. Matthew twenty six, fifty seven. Okay, am I? We study the Bible. We, are we? Hey, we finished another chapter. Yeah, right, let's go get some chicken. Call, come and dine. The Baptist calls, come and dine. Everything's fine. Matthew 26, 57. And they that had laid hold on Jesus led him away to Caiaphas. All right, there's his name, the high priest, where the scribes and elders were assembled. There's the Sanhedrin. But Peter followed him afar off. There we go, afar off. Unto a high priest's palace, went in, sat with the servants to see the end. He's not going to help Jesus. Now the chief priest, elders, and the council sought false witness. They sought. Mark says witnesses. Matthew says they went looking for false witnesses. Are you willing to lie about Jesus? Yeah, come on in. Are you willing to lie about Jesus? No, he, 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 he helped my son. You can go. What do you think the controversy would be if, if that would happen in America? Then defense count, I mean, the, the, the prosecuting attorney went out looking for false witnesses. They sought false witnesses against Jesus. To put him to death. But found none. Yea. Though many false witnesses came. Yet found they none. At last came two false witnesses. Lost it. Out of the mouth of two or three witnesses. This fellow said. I'm able to destroy the temple of God. It's not what he said. And build it in three days. That's not what he said. That's taken out of context. And they lie. And the high priest rose and said unto him, Jesus, answers thou nothing? Why? There's nothing needs to be said. What is it which these witness against thee? They're big fat liars. 
But Jesus held his peace. And the high priest answered and said unto him, I adjure thee by the living God. Remember the blessed? The living God. That thou tell us whether thou be the Christ, the Son of God, the blessed God are the same. Jesus said unto him, Thou hast said, I'm the Christ, the Son of God. You said it, not me. Nevertheless, I say unto you, hereafter shall ye see the Son of Man, me, Jesus, sitting at the right hand of the power, coming in the clouds of heaven. Second Advent. Then the high priest rent his clothes, saying, he has spoken blasphemy. No, he hasn't. What further need have we of, of witnesses? Like I said, you get the 12, get all the ones, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, but no. Now ye have heard this blasphemy. You know what he said? You are the Christ. You are the Son of God. The second advent is blasphemy. You know, there's, there's many churches who say that Jesus is not coming back. We're going to go on, keep going on until everything gets happy. Hope you dory. Yeehaw. And what think ye? There's that think ye again. They answered and said, he's guilty of death. Then did they spit in his face and buffeted him and others smote him with the palms of their hands, slapped them, saying, Prophesied prophesy unto us, thou Christ, making fun of him, like they make fun of Christians. They were first called Christians. And, you know, they, that wasn't a badge of honor. Hey, you're a Christian. <laughs> you're the Christ? Yeah. Okay, tell us who just smoked thee, Christ. And he never said a word. Never. Never. Now. That's amazing for our Lord God and Savior. John. Gospel of John. 18. Now this is not spoken of much in churches. 1812. John 1812. Then a band and the captain officers of the Jews, Hebrews, took Jesus and bound him. Handcuffs. Led him away to Annas first, for he was the father in law of the Caiaphas. So there's your high priest. Son in law, father in law which was the high priest that same year. Now Caiaphas was he that gave the counsel to the Jews that it was expedient that one man should die for the people. He prophesied of Christ, not even knowing what he was going to do. Okay. And Simon Peter, who followed Jesus, right. I'm not going to look at Simon Peter now, Lord, next week, tomorrow, Lord, oh, anyway, verse 19. The high priest then asked Jesus, his disciple, and of his doctrine. Jesus answered, said, I spank openly to the world. I ever taught in the synagogue, in the temple, whether the Jews always resorted. In secret have I said nothing. Every, I spoke, why out? Why ask, why ask thou me? Ask them which heard me. That's what I've been saying. How come you haven't called those? What have I said unto them? Behold, they know what I said. They don't call them. And we had thus spoken, one of the officers which stood which stood by struck 
Jesus with the palm of his hand saying, answers thou the high priest? So he answered the high priest's question. And one of the officers slaps Jesus in the face. Jesus answered and said, If I have spoken evil, bear witness of the evil. But if well, why spies thou me? If I dishonored, if I have spoken wrong, okay, but I didn't. Now, Anne's had sent him bound unto Caiaphas, the high priest. He's still in handcuffs in the middle of the night. Then they'll turn him over to Pilate. But he's been beaten. He's been slapped. He's been punched. He's been abused. He's been spit in front. And he comes before Pilate. You think they cleaned him up? His face is battered like a boxer and all over him. And there's no one there to restrict how they treated Jesus. They were making fun. Come on, tell us who did it, Jesus. <laughs> Come on, go up and hit him. See, see if he says it's you. Go, go. So don't say nothing. And somebody else said, who did that, Jesus? Blindfolded. By his own people. You don't believe what the church does with Jesus today. 